you say, I decide I'm going to change this person's life. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, I decide I'm going to make a miracle here. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, that's really what it's for, I think, as far as you know, why you might have chosen eight as a degree. Because it's like, whoa, you, you are crystal clear about what you want. And when it comes to manifestation, that's what you have to be crystal clear. Good morning. It is Monday and Love Fest week. For an entire week, the Sun and Venus will be making love. That means good vibes will be had by all. But Sensei says today may start just a little moody. From my smartphone to yours, keep streaming for your Monday Namaste today. Welcome to Namaste Today, the healthy way to start your day. I'm your host and spiritual life coach, Christopher Witecki. Namaste, and welcome back from the weekend, and welcome to all the new people who have recently found Namaste Today, and much gratitude for those of you who are sharing our little show with the rest of the world. Well, it is Love Fest week, my friend. That's because the sun and Venus are making love all week long, or conjuncting, sharing energy. With the sun in Gemini, we're working on thoughts and attitude, which means this week, your thoughts and attitude will be blessed with love, new information, and probably new connections. Connections within yourself and connections to other people as well. But today, Sensei says you might start off a little moody. That's because you've got to get your inner baby, your emotional side, behind this new mental forecast. But before we dive into how to handle that, let's first take a look at the Zodiac weather. This zodiac weather is for Monday, June 6th, 2016. And looking at the five day mood cast, well, today is cloudy and introverted, but most of the week is sunny and aggressive, although Friday is partly cloudy with a chance of bitchiness. But on to today, partly cloudy with a chance of moodiness. That moodiness is due to the moon, I'm afraid. Now, the great human walk has now reached step 16, Gemini. We're in the teens and we're becoming proficient. That makes the ruling number of the day the number seven, and it makes the ruling planet Neptune, the psychic hub. Now, looking at the emotional focus of the the day, we're going to be clearing lower vibration. That's because the moon is in Act 1 of Cancer, so ringing out that old drama, letting go of old things. This is the moon coming back to its home state, basically. And our mental focus today is in quantum manifestation. That's because Mercury's reached step 22 Taurus, and so I'm expecting that smartass to come up with a great idea or have a great epiphany. And that leads us to today's Lightwalker News Flash. Today's news flash is it's time to once again mastermind your personal emotional boundaries. All right? We've thought through boundaries so many times. And for those astro junkies out there, this comes down to Mars retrograde in 28 degrees, and this comes down to Mercury at 22 degrees up in Taurus. So we basically got a mind versus ego opposition going on as we try to open up with the sun conjuncting Venus all week long. What that comes down to is God's trying to get us to open up, all right? And that means that with the mind in Gemini, with the sun in Gemini, it is now time to mastermind Gemini uh, our boundaries. Mars retrograde 28 Scorpio. So in plain English, please, Sensei, Well, in plain English, it comes down to, we never say never. They always say that. Well, there's a reason, because you might draw a line one day that you actually want to take back another, and that's kind of what's going to happen today. From now on for this whole week, you're probably going to be reconsidering uh, letting people in or not letting people in, manifesting and being in partnership with people or not being in partnership with people, uh, allowing ourselves to get close or not close, finally closing a door that has been hanging open for a long time, all these sorts of undetermined boundaries. Any kind of old lovers or situations that were always question mark, a lot of those will probably come in, really with the sun conjuncting Venus, all that love energy, and Mars retrograde at 28 degrees Scorpio right now, uh, us reconsidering emotional boundaries. Now, uh, how does one make this determination, right? Where does one draw the line? The answer is the inner prince or the inner princess, which is your heart. 
Your heart is your soul. It is where you are creating from every moment of every day. Your heart is what must uh, determine the line. And this is literally, I think, the simplest seed of what needs to happen in our country, in our world, and in our future. Our hearts need to draw the line. Not logic, not statistics, not demographics, our hearts. This means that you believe that love is a good thing in itself and that you believe it won't lead to any harm. And of course, other cultures might disagree with that, so I guess as humans we'll have to discuss it. But if you're watching my show, uh, I'll tell you right now, the secret to happiness and serious joy is you let your heart rule you, okay? You let it rule you, which means if you do it right, love, life gets better and better and better and better. So, I argue that it's time to mastermind our emotional boundaries. I mean, that means you're going to have to uh, tell some people, I'm sorry, it's, it's not going to work. I know I said it would, but I guess it's not. Like, so there's a lot of back and forth with this. And that's because we have been massaging where to draw our very high-level boundaries for some time, nearly nine months now. And we've been on the topic of boundaries for nearly three years. So this, I think, is the last mastermind. In other words, the last time we have to draw them, for a long time. So be looking out for where you draw your boundaries. Now, that said, let me take three breaths and give you the mega scope. This is a channeled scope uh, from my guides to you and for the masses at the same time. Taking three breaths does clear each of the dimensions, mind, body, and soul. So speaking of spirit, uh, first of all, I definitely feel there's a lot of moodiness and you should know that like we're going through an ego uh, retrograde. We are taking down an ego and we're building a new ego right now. This is a, uh, not a fun thing. No one feels sexy when they are uh, taking down and rebuilding an ego. Uh, and with the moon in cancer, the, the most of the morning leading up to almost sunset is letting go, you know, having the mind uh, be positive and know where it belongs. And when your own self throws a pity party and your old, your own self, uh, wants to, uh, you know, be a party pooper, uh, you have to step in and be mindful of that and nurture yourself back, nurture yourself back to health, happiness, and good morale. All right. So, uh, today is, is begins actually a wonderful week. It's going to be amazing. This, the first part of Monday is nothing like what you're going to experience this week from what Spirit's showing me. And what, what Spirit really wanted me to show you is like, uh, that this is, this is an exciting time because this is it. This is it. That's what Spirit wanted to say. Like, this is it. For each of you, you know exactly what that means. This is it. All right? Like, the time. So, things are very exciting. And uh, things that people want are going to happen. And a lot of fascinating turn of events are coming. Uh, so today, uh, you want to create boundaries that keep things flowing and easy and easy going inside yourself. You want to not be upset and not let that old ego come up uh, and be a pity party whatsoever. Uh, but rather, put up some, master some boundaries with yourself and keep things flowing. So let me give you three takeaways before you go on your way. Takeaway number one, be sure to connect to your feelings today. I know the sun's in Gemini, but really emotion sets the tone for our thoughts to begin with. Takeaway number two, try and map out your vulnerabilities today. If you know you're going to be sensitive somewhere, avoid it. You don't have to do it, okay? Your uh, calm and your easygoing is the most important thing. And takeaway number three, uh, decide from your feelings today, not your logic. So what do you feel like? Uh, you know, don't say, I think this. Say, I feel this and I feel that. And let that be your guide. All right, my friends, for those who are uh, watched over my personal Sensei Network, today on the, member, on the members menu, I'm going to give you some tips on going with the flow, how to handle that mercury at step 22, and how your mind can architect your true way. Then at three o'clock for your eye candy, 
I'm going to underscore and remind you, maybe some sour eye candy, where you need to mastermind your boundaries right now. That's according to your AIT natal data that we get when you sign up. For everyone else, it's Love Fest Week. Come on down and spread the love. Come on down to SeriousJoy.tv. Leave a comment. Say hello. Let's share in love with each other. Share stories and, uh, and share the love. I think there's going to be a lot of new connecting, a lot of ideas. Let it be on the brightest star on the internet, SeriousJoy.tv. All right, my friends, I do want to say I'm so grateful uh, to be of soul service with you. for you. I will see you next time, which is in 24, 24 hours. Until then, remember, I love you and live, love, be. You know, there's a secret in your birthday to courage, and courage leads to love. Are you ready to find out the truth? I have the answer. You too can find the truth if you dare. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com.